I say, Arthur. Arthur. I don't like it when you're in there all day. <laughs> I need you to help me with something. Arthur? I'm going to count up to three. <laughs> Arthur? I'm counting. Can you hear me? One. Two. Two and a half. <laughs> I thought you were in there. No. Are you sure? <laughs> Just a minute. Who is in there? No one. I haven't been talking to myself, you know. <laughs> There's something I need you to help me with. Just sit down and read the paper while I put all this away. <laughs> this is it, this is it. <laughs> it's a contest. If it's a how to be a pain in the neck contest, you'll win. <laughs> it's a favourite son contest. Wonderful. Will you help me? Maybe, later, after I've cooked the dinner and washed up and finished the laundry. We'll see. Don't you want to know what you win? If it's one of those holidays on the Great Barrier Reef with your mother, I think I'll pass. <laughs> now, where does it say? Ah, yes. Uh, the winning favourite son will receive a hand-printed T-shirt bearing the favourite son logo. Just what I've always wanted. A studio portrait by a professional photographer of the favourite son and his mother. How can I live without it? And a car. A what? What? What did you just say? Uh, the winning favourite son. No, no, at he... the end. Uh, contest closes. No, no, at the end of the prize. It's the last one. Uh, just a minute, Studio portrait, professional photographer, uh, and a car. What sort of a car? A red one, <laughs> I think. Show me. Well. Any good? Mm. Uh, does that mean you'll help me? Let's see what you have to do. Uh, you have to write a hundred words or less to say why your son is your favourite son. That's why I need you to help me. But I wouldn't know what to say. Make something up. Yes, but wouldn't that be like cheating? They won't know. I'd feel funny about it. You'd have to tell me what to write. Yes, but that's what I can't think of. But it's not up to me, Mum. Why isn't it? Because I don't know why I'm your favourite son. What are you talking about? <laughs> Who are you nominating as your favourite son? Robbie. Of course. <laughs> he needs to know his mother loves him. Does he? Well, I can see why you can't think of anything to write about him. Will you help me? No. Oh, don't be silly. Uh, where do we start? You take the entry form, crumple it up and set fire to it. Where does it say that? <laughs> or you could just flush it down the toilet. All right, all right. Now, what do we do first? I'm not helping. Uh, name. Whose name do I put? Winnie the Pooh. Don't I put Robert? I don't care who you put. Uh, do I put Robert, R-O-B-E-R-T, or do I put Robbie, R-O-B-B-I-E? Try B-I-G-B-U-M. B-I-G-B-U... Oh, now you've made me spoil it. What a shame. Now go away. I'll do it myself. R-O-B-E-R-T. Uh, when it says a hundred words or less, uh, how many does it mean? I thought you were doing this yourself. Robert is my favourite 
sun because one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six. six, is that all? <laughs> Robert is my favourite son because I like him the best. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now, how about that? Sickening. <laughs> Don't you want to help your mother? No. What about your brother? Definitely not. What if I pay you? <laughs> I'm Arthur, not Robert. I did a very bad job of bringing you up, didn't I? That when your family needs you and it's out of prayer, you can't lend a helping hand. I can't do the impossible. And I'm supposed to do this all on my own, am I? I thought you were. All right, I'll do it on my own. Who needs help from a big grump like you? <laughs> Robert is my favourite son because... <laughs> Robert is my favourite son because... <laughs> because... 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 Stop it! I will if you'll help me. What do you want me to do? Say something like, Robert is my favourite son because at least he hasn't murdered me yet? <laughs> How many words is that? <laughs> I tell you the best I can do. Robert is my favourite son because, despite all the mean and nasty things he's done to me, Despite the number of times that he's forgotten my birthday, despite the number of times that he's tried to dump me in a nursing home and run away with the family fortune, if something happened to me, deep down, he'd probably be a bit upset about it. Dear Robbie. <laughs> Dear Robbie. He's such a softy. He doesn't care about you, Mum. He couldn't care less about you. Uh, uh, tell me what you just said. No. Oh, uh, never mind. I'll remember it now. <laughs> Uh, Robert is my favourite son because, despite... Despite... Uh, what did you say? Uh, tell you what. Try asking Robert to help you write something nice about me and see how far you get. Uh, why would I ask him to write something nice about you? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> see you later, Mum. Uh, where are you going? Out to the caravan. And what about my dinner? Don't ask me. Ask your favourite son. Uh, what if he's busy? Isn't that always a trouble with favourite sons? They're never there when you want them. <laughs> Poor Robbie. <laughs> okay, Arthur. Arthur? I don't like you being in there. You're needed inside. <laughs> So you are in here. <laughs> Shh, close the door. Do you know that mum's very upset? Do you know that she won't leave me alone? All right, she gets you down a bit, but what have I ever done to you? Will I start at the beginning or concentrate on the last few years? Why did you make mum wreck the entry form? I didn't make her do anything. But does it matter? She wasn't going to win anyway. Yes, it does matter. But you don't know who's going to win. Robert is my favourite son because I like him the best. Did you really say that? <laughs> Dear old mum. What else did she say? That's all. She can't do it. And would it kill you to help her? Yes. <laughs> Arnie, this is very important to me. According to my therapist, it would be very healing for me to get a confirmation of my mother's love. What? The therapist told you to get Mum to enter the favourite son contest? <laughs> Not exactly. He told me that if I'm worried about whether Mum loves me, I should ask her. Then I saw this contest in the magazine. Robert, all you have to do is turn up with a half-dead bunch of daisies and Mum thinks your father Christmas. <laughs> of course she loves you. It's easy for you to say, but you seem to have forgotten that the day you were born, I stopped getting cuddles. <laughs> You're the one who got all the affection. I never got any. 
poor widow Warby. <laughs> Is it any wonder that I've gone from one shallow, meaningless affair to another? It's been a desperate attempt to fill a gaping hole in my heart. So, all these women you went to bed with are just a substitute for mum? <laughs> I see you've moved into my caravan. Let's just say I'm looking after it for you. Maybe I should be charging you rent. <laughs> Maybe I should charge you a maintenance fee. At the moment, I'm talking to my therapist about mum. But soon, I'll be talking about you. <laughs> Listen to this. Robert is my favourite son because he is a very respected and successful dentist, a wonderful husband to Liz, a proud father of Damien and Tioni, a tolerant brother of Arthur. <laughs> and he always turns the other cheek and tries to see the good side of others even when circumstances are very trying. And a devoted and loving son to me. And now that he has matured into a fine, upstanding, responsible member of the community who thinks nothing of giving up hours of his time to help others less fortunate than he, I am very, very proud of him. Pretty good, eh? You write all that yourself? Uh, Robbie helped. <laughs> a bit. A bit? Uh, he suggested some of the words, but I wrote it down. Well, it's not very good. What's wrong with it? It's a mess. But it's 100 words, exactly. That doesn't matter. Won't win. They don't want to know that he's a dentist. They take points off for that. Actually, I wonder what would win. Now we're getting somewhere. I've got another entry thingo. <laughs> Maybe something like... When I needed my hip replacement, Robert sold his car and boat and mortgaged his house because he wanted me to have the finest medical treatment the money could buy. Why don't I remember this? There's nothing wrong with your hips. It's easy for you to say. You don't have to get out of bed in the morning. You didn't have a hip operation. I'm not still on the waiting list. Stand up. Come on. Walk around. <laughs> well, good as new. <laughs> I made it up. I was just trying to show you the sort of thing that might win. You just can't bear the thought of your brother finally getting the recognition he deserves. Recognition for what? A world record for pathetic excuses? At least Robbie's got a bit of get up and go. Oh, if that's what you admire, I'll get up and go. I don't have to stay living here. Don't worry, I won't go far. And from now on, I'll be living out in the caravan and you can live here. And if you fall over and break your hip, just call out and I'll ring up Robert for you. And if they ever have a worse son contest... No. You couldn't even win that. Margaret Road Knight celebrating 
All sorts of things this week. And here's Sea Dandelies, which will play you a bit of. We'll also play you some music from um, the mysterious voices of Bulgaria. <laughs> I don't like this anymore. He's in the... Uh... In there? I think so, yeah. <laughs> in the shop, in the men's? Could be. <laughs> Try the men's. not in there, Mum. Uh, where is he? You are sure he wasn't in the caravan? Yeah, positive. I looked. Anyway, Clive would have checked. He's not that stupid. <laughs> well, he can't be far, Mum. Is that your phone? Oh, darn thing. has been doing that all morning. <laughs> I don't answer it when uh, Arthur's not here. Anyway, it's stopped now. Well, I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. That's good. But where's Arthur?
Don't worry, Mum. He'll be back. Any minute. Probably. I've got to go. I'm sorry I ever started this contest business. But you're still doing it. This is why he ran away. He's upset. Well, yeah, he's a bit jealous. But you are still going to do it, aren't you, Mum? <laughs> yes, yes, I'm still doing it. But I think I should make Arthur my favourite son. <laughs> Why? I want him to come back. No, Mum. Remember what we talked about? There was that crucial moment after Artie was born when I asked you and Dad to prove that you still loved me and you wouldn't do it. What if he's had an accident? It was my birthday. <laughs> the only thing I wanted in the whole world was a little Shetland pony. What did you give me? A book. A book called How to Draw Horses. <laughs> Don't you know how cruel that was? <laughs> you burnt it. I didn't want a book. You set fire to it on Arthur's bed. I was very upset. You set fire to it on Arthur's bed while he was in it. <laughs> and you never understood, did you, that that was my little heart crying out for help? I can still hear you. Mummy, Mummy, Artie's on fire. <laughs> you see, I did the right thing. He was rescued. But did I get a reward? No. I got a thrashing from Dad. And now you can make up by helping me write something nice about your brother. All right. Let's be objective about this. Does Artie deserve to be your favourite son? Does he? Really? He's very good to me. He's a crawler. He's always trying to suck up to you. He loves his mummy bear. You think so? You should hear what he says about you behind your back. I suppose I am a bit hard to get on with sometimes. He says you are a classic domineering mother. A manipulative matriarch whose power games create deep emotional scarring in their offspring. That just shows how angry he was. And that's why he ran away. And that's why we've got to write something nice about him. But, Mum, all I'm asking you to do, remember what we talked about, is give me this tiny little sign that despite everything that's happened, you still do love me. All I want is for you to be a good boy and help me write something nice about your brother. Well, sure, if that's what you want, but... Uh... You won't do it. No, 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 I will. Except that for me to write something that says that Arthur is your favourite son would seem to be, well, dishonest. Because we both know that I am. <laughs> Don't we? Yes. You're my favourite son. <laughs> and Arthur... He's my favourite, favourite son. You see, you're doing it again. You're playing favourites. Mother? Yes, this is my mother. Oh, we hear all about you. <laughs> yeah, thanks very much for the lift. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mother. Thank you. Um... <laughs> yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of your holiday. Thank you. So, you've been on holiday. I don't look as if I've been on holiday. No, that would be good. I just don't want you to go away anymore. I was kidnapped. Not by them. No, they brought me back. Never mind. You're back now. That's all that matters. <laughs> Here we are. Here we are. 
It's only a tea bag, I'm afraid. But uh, I think it's the way you like it. Mum, did you boil the water? I'll heat it up. Oh, yes. Uh, listen to this. Not now, Mum. You know, you like this. Don't you know this is how it all began? If you hadn't gone on and on with those terrible contest entries about Robert... Arthur is my favourite son because he helps me all the time. What do you think? I wrote it all myself. Robbie wouldn't help me. It's uh, a bit on the short side, but they do say a hundred words or less. This is nice, Mum. We haven't got a chance with an entry like this. I thought it was good. Well, you'd have to post it. Post it? You'd have to cut it out and send it in. Will you help me? Where's an envelope? Get the address right? Yes. And don't forget the stamp. No. You see? We're a team. <laughs> That's it, folks. Well, this will be nice, won't it? Something we can have forever. Even if we don't win the contest. We didn't win it. Who did? You saw it in the magazine weeks ago. Never mind. We'll always have this, and it will always be very special. <laughs> now it's your turn. <laughs> Paying for his. Thank you.